So if you're looking to retire early, why would they have a Roth IRA retirement account if they can't access the money when they retire? So um, you can. So remember like Roth IRA contributions, you can have access to that money at any time. Penalty free, tax free. I'm using my Roth IRA conversion strategy to take the money out and you can check it out on my channel if you want to. But the tax free growth really outpaces everything else. Like. If I were to retire early, right? On the surface, I would say, oh, well, why not just put everything into the taxable investment account? And then when I reach a million and I could just live off of that, the dip, let's say dividend income for 30, $40,000 a year, if it's a 4% dividend payout ratio. Now, I can't miss out on the 401k Roth IRA for two reasons. Reason number one, if my fire fails because I have, let's say a medical condition in the future where I just can't save as much money, saving early now in my 401k Roth IRA and HSA, that's going to pay off really well when I'm in my 60s. Okay. Remember that 401k Roth IRA and HSA, those are my three investment accounts that is going to insure. It's kind of like an insurance for me to ensure that I can retire on time. Now, anything above that goes into my taxable investment account, taxable brokerage account, whatever you want to call it, with either Fidelity, Vanguard, Schwab, whatever broker that you have. I know some people love Robinhood, whatever. So I do the allocation, the savings rate allocation. 25% will always go into my retirement. I just max them all out. Okay, 401k maxed out, Roth IRA maxed out, HSA maxed out. That is going to ensure my retirement starting at the age of 55 or 60. We'll just call it 60, okay? The next one would be my early retirement portfolio that is going to allow me to possibly retire at the age of 45 or 50. Now, go to my website, firesitcher.com slash resources, and I have like tons of calculators, fire calculator, how much you need to do it. You can calculate your numbers from there. Then the second reason I wanna to get to that is the tax-free growth in there is just too tremendous. Like I'm going to pay taxes now at let's say 22% marginal tax rate so that I don't have to pay taxes now later on. That is going to be huge for my retirement plan. Do you think the tax rates will remain the same from now till the year 2050? I think the tax rates are going to go up, right? Why? We have an aging population. They're going to have to raise taxes whether we like it or not. That's just the reality. I don't like it. I don't want them to raise taxes on me, but I am right now prepaying for my retirement so that later on, if I fail fire for whatever reason, medical, physical, whatever, I still have my 401k Roth IRA to live on. I am already projected to, I'm not trying to brag here because I started investing heavily at the age of 30 and I thought it was a late start. I am still projected to have 3 million, 4 million, 5 million in my 401k my Roth IRA HSA combined. And that's just my insurance to make sure that I don't have to worry about. Now, I put everything else into my taxable investment so that I can possibly retire at 45. And that's my thought process going into it. So can I retire by 45? Sure. Do I want to? I don't know, you know? <laughs> it just kind of depends on where I would be. And uh, really good question though. It's not a naive question. I think that's something that you really when I like prioritize is that the benefits that you get now in that order, when you go to my website, there's a fire checklist on how to prioritize your investments. You never miss out on the free money from your 401k. If you, your employer gives you that 5% employer match, invest that 5%. By the way, I am so fired up to announce the launch of my private fire community for people just like you and me who are passionate about investing, saving, and achieving financial independence and exploring different possibilities to retire early. My private community will allow you to connect with me on the platform and get in touch with other like-minded individuals or couples who are just as serious as you are with the fire movement. As a member of my private community, You'll get resources like investing, saving, paying off debt, or finding the right place to grow your money. For a very limited time, please enjoy the free trial by clicking the link in the description below. The next step, max out your Roth IRA in HSA. The next step is attempt to max out your 401k. And I said this in a previous segment that it takes about 16 years to become a 401k millionaire 
with an 8% average annual return if your pre-tax income is $100,000 a year with a 5% employer contribution. It's in the 401k calculator. You can mess with it and see what happens. And remember, you don't get 8% every single year. That is the average annual return. This year, it's already making what? Yeah, it's already making 15.5% this year, just for the S&P 500. And next year, it could be down to negative 8%, who knows, right? But if you average that out, what is that? So you're still making a positive return year over year. Good question though, just you know, make sure that you prioritize what benefits you now, like what reduces your income, HSA reduces your income, maybe using a 401k to reduce your income, and you choose to pay your taxes later, it's completely up to you, but I will never ever miss out on the 401k contribution, max out the Roth IRA or max out the HSA because whew, man, those tax benefits do come a long way. Good question though. Thank you.